And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some smooth sage. Well, Puppy was going to help us for a little bit, but looks like she's, she's just real camera shy. Um, all right, anyway, this is our last meme tier Monday deck. We're going to be playing another smooth soloist deck. Um, but this one's going to be more janky than the last one. But we're, we're going to be trying for an infinite combo if we can, if we have the time and if we can pull it off. What we have here is we have an infinite combo built around Zephyr Sage. So that's the, the Sage part. So whenever you, you play a Zephyr Sage, you get to create an exact copy of a card in hand. Now, our goal is to have two Zephyr Sages in hand. We will use the first Zephyr Sage and play it and copy the second Zephyr Sage in hand, and we create an exact copy of the second Zephyr Sage again. So then we'll still have two Zephyr Sages in hand. Then we can play one, create another copy of the other, and so on. And so we can keep on doing that. And each time we play a Zephyr Sage, we just make it a Zephyr Sage in hand. Now they cost six mana and you're only making four fours. So that's that's why people don't really do this because you're just spending six mana for a four four. And sure, you can infinitely spend six mana for a four four, but that's a lot of mana and you know just a level four four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make that a lot cheaper. So that's where a smooth soloist comes into play, where if we can get a, a smooth soloist in play, suddenly those cost four mana. And then that looks a little bit better. Maybe we could get two smooth solos if we're super lucky and then they only cost two mana and so on. So, you know, like that, that could help out. Um, besides that, we also have Green Glade Lookout, where if the Zephyr Sage is the most expensive thing in our hand, we can strike with the Green Glade Lookout and make it cost less. So maybe we strike with the Green Glade Lookout and now it costs five, and then we play a Smooth Soloist and now it costs three. And, you know, now we're looking a lot better. Three mana for infinite Zephyr Sage where you just spend three mana each. That's, that's only a lot better. All right, and then 4-4s, four you know, nothing wrong with the 4-4, four four, but what if we can make that bigger? Well, we we can. We have Jewel Protector, grants an ally in hand, plus 3, plus 3. So we're going to be trying to do that on the Zephyr Sage, so we can make, like, infinite 7-7s seven instead of 4-4s. Four and then we also have Green Glade Elder to grant all of our allies in hand, plus 1, plus 1. And we also have the trick with Green Glade Elder and Retreat, where we can pick it back up, put it back down, um... And, you know do do that and you know maybe pump these things up so you know maybe we can have like you know if we use a jewel protector and one green glade elder now we got eight eights and so we can have like infinite three mana eight eights and you know so then it starts getting pretty awesome so that's what we're gonna do it's pretty janky it's um you know hopefully just one of these games it, it works you know it's not gonna be something that's gonna work every game um but that's what it means here monday's all about let's try to live the infinite zephyr sage dream let's go play five games just gonna be playing them over in normal um as we do on memes here monday but it's it's uh still gonna be fun okay let's see we had double green glade elder so the warning shot's basically for the smooth soloist like that's all it's doing we're gonna mulligan that um what are we playing against oh deep We'll get rid of one of the elders. I don't know. I kind of like elder into eld. No, let's get rid of one elder. I'll shoot the wings off a That's not what I was expecting. That's not really what I was expecting. Toad. So of course it is good to have the to play the Green Glade Elder first before you play like Claws of the Dragon. Good. Get those dead bloom wanderers out of here. Um let's just pass the turn. I could do the retreat thing. But we might as well do that next turn. Maybe we draw a Zephyr Sage. No, another Smooth Soloist. Okay, so we're going to bounce. Hope they don't kill this in response. Hope they don't. Okay, good. And now we're going to return it back into play. Tales of our past are 
grow those things up. And now our Claw of the Dragon's a 5-4. Now the Shadow Assassin's a 4-4 four, four elusive. Even better. Okay. See, we're getting there. Okay, we got the warning shot to help out the smooth soloist. So if I play Shen, I only have two mana. I think instead, I'm just gonna... Mm. Thing is, if I pass, they may not attack. I guess I'll play this. Yeah, we'll just play the shot. I kind of wanted to go with Spirit's Refuge on this Claws of the Dragon when blocking the beast below. Ugh, gross. That was really good for them. Now, I definitely wish I had Spirit's Refuge to protect Shadow Assassin. Yeah, that was really good. Got us covered. That was really good. Come, take refuge. No, Green Glade, look out. Control one, control two, control three. Really wish I didn't play that Shen. No prey, no pay. Eat the trash, eat the trash. <laughs> Time for violence within my grasp. And we need to draw Zephyr Sages. That's. Yeah, you know, we got these things to reduce the cost of them. But we need to start drawing some Zephyr Sages. Yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, I could have had the Key Guardian before the Green Glade Elder to try to draw something else to be able to buff. Um, I did have, like, for that, for this game, I, like, had stuff to do with all of my mana. But, I mean, I, the thing is, is, I had six mana. Honestly, what I should have done... Okay, so I was worried about them just passing the turn and then me just, like, wasting all that mana. What I should have done was just play the Key Guardian on the Shen and then pass priority back to them. That's what I should have done. Interesting. Captain's orders. Pull it to the face. Close your eyes. Oh, you think you think this is a you think they're actually a Ledros Dreadway deck, and they're just pretending to be a deep deck? All right, there's a Zephyr Sage. There's a Zephyr Sage. Now we need one more. We need two Zephyr Sages. I guess I should have played this 5-6 because of Misfortune. I was thinking of like picking up the Green Glade Elder and making this a 6-7. That's what I was thinking. Must be done. Ben, the dragon remembers. Came a long way for a bullet.
my father's plane. Our wills align. I'm just not going to be able to do the pick up the elder. I, yeah, I wish I would have played this five six last last turn. Um. This game would have been completely different if I just didn't play that Shen that turn, and I would have had the lifesteal barrier, kept my 4-4 elusive, this, this game would have been completely different. That doesn't help. I think this goes back to seven mana. I don't think it. Oh, okay, never mind. It costs five. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. Whenever you bounce it, it goes back to seven. That's what I thought. I thought like whenever we bounce it, it go back to seven. Surrender to the melody. I hope we get to just pull it off in one game. This is gonna require a lot because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to draw two Zephyr Sages and stay alive. I mean, even the the deep deck aggro does, and the the deep deck is not known for aggro. This is gonna be a tough one to pull off. This is gonna be a tough combo to pull off. In one of these games. Okay. I like this. Good start. Because we can go Key Guardian on the Zephyr Sage, and so we can keep copying the one with the with the barrier, and so then we can have like infinite barrier Zephyr Sages. Even cooler. Yeah, that was I mean again, that game that game just completely turned whenever they had that vulnerable. You know, I wasn't expecting the give this, you know, what they have, like one mana, give the thing vulnerable. <laughs> I was not expecting that card. Were y'all expecting that card? Like, that was just... That card completely turned that game around. Man, we are going to make a large Zephyr Sage, that's for sure. Let's play that next turn. Like we need to play against like a slow control deck that's just trying to kill all of our stuff that doesn't doesn't do any damage to us. Hmm. Maybe we need to use we probably need to use retreat on Shadow Assassin more than retreat on uh, Green Glade Elder. We're gonna have the Zephyr Sage be buffed enough. We need to draw more cards. I like that. Just stack for two. Yes. Okay, let's go. Two Zephyr Sages. Now we need to make them cost less. If we can. They're going to be buffed up Zephyr Sages. 
Uh, I, mean, I guess they. they um, They also are going to have infinite blockers on the ground, probably, in a prankster deck. Do we need to just pump up the elusive and just try to make this thing super big? Like we won't actually, even if we can get a lot of Zephyrs, we won't actually be able to do damage with them. The, the problem is, is if I don't play Shadow Assassin, I'm not doing anything this turn unless I want to retreat, bounce, and replay that. Okay, good. Good. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. That will reduce the cost of Zephyr Sage. That is good. Making the dead. Now we can make Zephyr Sage a five drop. Oh, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> no one cares about winning, just execute combo. I I will teach you. I see you there. We will try to execute combo. No Harvey. No. Okay, so we know this is going to be the the Zephyr Sage that we're going to keep. Yeah, because that's the one with the barrier. Good. So it's going to be a 5 mana 6-6 six, six with a barrier. We have to start with the other Zephyr Sage to, so we make copies of this one. Our allies did not fall in vain. stuff. Yeah, could go, could go dual protector for greed mode. For sure. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Five, five mana or six mana for a 6-6. Six, six. Be strong! These are dark times. And our deck is slow. He's gonna be so bad! Y'all are right, I should have just gone greed mode and just played the jewel protector first. The order rewards its faithful. In a world full of monsters. I want to draw a smooth soloist right now. Make all these things cost two less. It'd be a lot easier to unload our hand if everything costs two less. That's basically what we need to do right now. We need to just be able to unload the hand. If everything costs too much mana. 
Okay, there's Smooth Solo. It's a little late. Little late. Because I needed it like this turn, because this is the turn that I'm attacking. Um, I don't get to play Smooth Soloist this turn, because I won't have Plunder turned on. Uh, maybe we draw Warning Shot? We go Warning Shot Smooth Soloist? Ooh, I love that. That's actually... That's, that's a card to draw. There we go. That's a real card. Right there. Love that. In the name of the Fallen! Not escape. Um. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. Because it still gives Ephemeral, so that's still... Uh, still pumps that up. Um... Let's see, I do need to turn on Plunder, which isn't going to be the easiest thing now. So I guess I have to go Misfortune and just attack with Misfortune to turn on Plunder, or I guess use like the Champion spell and hope to turn on Plunder that way. I'm one of the good guys. Alright, hopefully we turn on Plunder with this. Yes! Alright, good. Close your eyes and drift away. I'll just go more dual protectors for now. That's it. Love ya. So if we have time. We're gonna be good if we have time. Like basically, if we don't die right here. Should be Words sharp as swords. Which we're likely not going to die right here. Um I can't I'm not done yet. That's me taking the least amount of damage. Yeah, including Phantom Prankster and everything. Alright, so we're gonna have three mana 15 15s with barrier. Infinite amount of those. That'd have been cooler if they were that'd be cooler if they were one mana, but I don't know if we can turn on the smooth soloist. <laughs> I 
We did it though. We did it, chat. Um, heck, I guess I could play a smooth soloist and hit him and then get another smooth soloist, but now let's just go. Let's go. <laughs> Infinite three mana, 15 15 with barriers. Four four can die. I can just play a, a zero. I can just play a three two instead of the four four. Do your worst. Oh, is this gonna kill me? Oh crap! Maybe this is gonna kill me. Yeah, the prankster killing me. All right, maybe this is a bad attack. Okay. That could have been a bad attack. What's that noise? I got—I know—I got too excited. I got too excited. I forgot about the prankster. I did. I got too excited. We still—we did the thing. We got infinite Zephyr Sages. We got to pull off the combo. Yeah, that was. Bad attack. That's all right. I I just for completely forgot about Prankster. I got too excited with my 15 15s. <laughs> I know I needed the life steal top deck. That's what I was hoping. We're playing, you know, three of the life steal barriers. Definitely hoping that we top decked one of those. Yeah, maybe I could have just just cast soloist, soloist, attack for six in the air. Yeah, that might have been better. Well, yeah, that that could have been game if they didn't have any removal. That's not what we came here to do, though. We didn't just come here to, like, win by attacking with three three power elusives. We came here to make infinite 15-15 barriers, and so that's what we're doing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look over to that. Exactly. Do you know how many times we've won with like three power elusive? We've done that all the time. Do you know how many times I've made? Uh, do I want to key guardian this thing? No, we just gotta attack. Do you know how many times I've made infinite 15 15 barriers? Like, never. Oh my gosh, they didn't block? Wow, what a gift. What a gift, they didn't block. Um. Silent as death. Oh, dang. They blocked this up. No blocks? Let's go. Reduce these. No greater gift than knowledge. Let's go. 
Man, we have triple smooth soloist. About to get smooth. Get him. Get him. Um, I don't know. Think before you strike. I don't really know re any reason to block or not to block. That's fine. I'll just I'm just gonna clear up the space. This does look like a, you know, like a newer player's deck with just, you know, just Ash. This looks like we're playing against a new, new player. But we are going to be, we are going to be doing it this turn, or like this game at least. Now we just gotta draw. We just gotta draw cards, right? We gotta find Zephyr Sage. Uh, I might as well type with you too, I guess. We just have to find Zephyr Sage. And then after we find Zephyr Sage, then we have to draw another Zephyr Sage. Faster than my arrow? Oh dang. Think not. Surrender to the melody. So I'm probably going to Will of Ionia and try to bounce this Ash to get it reset so it doesn't have the plus four, plus four. This would be a good winter. All right, come on, deck. Draw a Zephyr Sage. Draw a Zephyr Sage. Oh, this is the one with the barrier. I guess I could have played this last turn. Is still pretty good. Close your eyes and drift away. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like we'll probably just kill them. Yeah, I mean, we we know that they're drawing. We know the card they're drawing. It's the um, crystal arrow. So I can just attack for lethal in the air for ten. It's sad. I wanted to do something cooler, but so I go protect that. They cannot hide. Protect the villages. We got, you know, double smooth solos out here. Like, we we're gonna do something real cool, but we just kind of killed them first. No backing down. <laughs> he said, Not a victory. Well, all right, fine. Not a victory, but last game was a victory. Last game was the victory. Yeah, we're just playing seven mana solitary monks. Yep. Basically. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay, double Zephyr Sage. 
Double Zephyr Sage. Let's go. Ah, uh, now Green Glade Lookout's gonna re reduce the price of Smooth Solovis, which it's good to have that reduction in price, but rather reduce the cost. We'd rather reduce the cost of uh, Zephyr Sage. They would have attacked, I would have blocked. Just taken the cost reduction. Right away. Barrier Shen, play Shen, Shen Barrier Misfortune. Fate. Fortune. Darn. Who says I don't share? That's pretty cool. How they go Fate, Fortune. That is pretty neat. card. Any card? Any card at all? So plan is... Green Glade Duo, pop up the Shadow Assassin, play this. Next turn, hit him with the Shadow Assassin, play Hell Smooth Soloist. Oh. It's going to have me going down to a low life total. It's not that much difference between 6 or 7. And then, you know, like our next turn we'll have... Next turn we'll have the Spirit's Refuges available. I hopefully hopefully can wait until this next turn. Yeah, I, I can hopefully play Smooth Solos this turn and I don't have to play these Refuges.
Guess you can win them all. It's not cool. You just gotta play two things and then red card uh you know kills these and also levels up their gangplank. Yeah, we have the combo, it's just you know, so we can have like four mana eight eight Zephyr Sages. It's just Blue they have leveled up Twisted Fate, and thought to be leveled up Gangplank. You know, it's it's hard to be leveled up Twisted Fate. Uh, yeah, Twisted Fate probably would be better than Misfortune in our deck. We're never gonna level up Misfortune. I think that Misfortune's there to try to turn on Plunder. But Twisted Fate can draw us the extra cards, can be a lot better defense. Um, yeah, Twist, Twisted Fate, I, th I would think, would be better than Misfortune. Uh, let's see. Creature, there is spirit magic in you. Something for all of you. I am reborn of salt and pride! Oh, I forgot about the gangplank trigger. How do we beat the gangplank trigger? Forgot about that. I probably I probably just had to do the plus three plus three on the misfortune, didn't I? Just get a six six. Yeah, I needed to I needed to just do that and not worry about the Zephyr Sage. I had to I had to do the plus three plus three over here. Because obviously I, I have to keep the four man up for Spirit's Refuge. Dead in their traps. Sure, the 6 6 would have been stunned. Blow him to the depths. Intruder, get him. Don't get ahead of yourself. They're only doing one damage now. Still zero. Yeah, we did. I mean, maybe, maybe if I would have pumped up this misfortune, it would have gotten, it would have gotten whatever. But no, this would only have been a four three, so it wouldn't have helped. My kind of party. Level up Twisted Fate too strong. Mm. So now even with them having the Vile Feast, even the, the 4-3, I wouldn't have, would not have lived anyway. Basically, just couldn't play smooth soloist on turn seven. I had to go spirit's refuge protection from the 
from that deal from that drain four, gain three life with that, and then play something else, and you know, I basically just wasn't able to play smooth soloist. Alright, we'll keep this. We'll have the lookout. Reduce the cost of the soloist. Then we have our Shadow Assassin. We got a Will of Ionia to help against this kind of stuff. This is what janky combo is all about. It's difficult to pull together. But yeah, I think I think Twisted Fate over Misfortune would I, I agree with y'all in chat. I think that this that, that would be a better card for us. Push back the darkness. Um, I could just bounce this. Seems like, seems like not the best bounce. Should still count as striking. Yep. Smooth soloist this turn. Close your eyes and drift away. Scouting ahead. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice of turn five soloist. That's not something you see very often. Uh, Lucian's at one out of four. What died? Oh, the Valor. So if I block here, then Lucian levels up. I don't really want that to happen. So I probably need to bounce Lucian. Keep Lucian from leveling up. Well, too late. I'll bring them peace. Approaches. 
All right, so let's see. They're taking that, right, going down to six. These two can block two things, like they block the two things, and then yeah, so then six, okay, good. Making sure, okay. So yeah, we bounce here. And now they have to block with Lucian, otherwise they die. Otherwise they take lethal. And there's nothing that Lucian can survive against. Stand and fight. Right, puts him down to three. should still have this. They even play the Quinn that I bounced. That was just a, a new Quinn. Oh, because that was a cost reduction Quinn. The other one wasn't. That Quinn should, like, this Quinn needs to, like, why don't, yeah, why not attack with that 1-1? One, one? Got this. That's far enough. That was a this is a great smooth soloist game. Turn five smooth soloist. Like that's pretty sweet. And then we got to go crazy playing a bunch of really cheap things. Dual protector, putting a bunch of power into play with like the five five um, shadow assassin for one that's mana. A one mana five five elusive draw card. <laughs> One mana, five, five, shadow assassin. That was pretty good. All right, so yeah, we went two and three. Um, I I messed up the one game that we that we actually got to combo by attacking. If I don't attack that game, we probably could have won that. Or if I would have just played the two small, they were at six. I had two smooth solos in hand. I probably could have just played both of them and then attacked for six elusive and one. But we were here to make, uh, you know. Um, infinite 15 15 barrier uh, you know three mana 15 15s with barrier that's what we were here to do and we did it we achieved our combo one game so definitely uh, definitely worth it yeah smooth solos definitely felt like a card it that was it was uh, pretty good um, out of the two I liked the I liked the smooth investigator deck more out of the two I thought you we got to do some crazy stuff with that deck and that's i also like the puff caps and everything and, and that that deck felt more powerful um than this one but this is this is more if you want to do crazy combo with uh infinite zephyr sage you know you got another option and that's what uh that's the kind of stuff that meme tier monday's about okay oh yeah camera lagged sorry i i didn't update or i didn't uh refresh I didn't uh, change the camera settings today, so sorry. Maybe the camera was lagging the whole time. Sorry if it was. Um, yeah, Shen is awesome. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of Shen on this, on you know, on our on our stream the last few days, and been having a lot of success. We had the Shen Vi deck. That one looked great. We had yesterday we had uh, Zed Shen. That one was awesome. Um, Shen's really good. I like that card quite a bit. All right, but anyway. Uh, those y'all watch on youtube hit that like button leave those comments what do you want to see next week for meme tier monday got any meme tier ideas you want to see on the channel feel free to put them down in the comment section over there on youtube and i'll check it out uh, but anyway thank you so much for watching some smooth sage and i'll see you for the next video